Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a little while since I've done a haul, but I have a doozy for you today. Just spent the last week down in Nashville and uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I uh, did a ton of bourbon hunting while I was down there. I got about nine or ten bottles to share with you. I'm trying to make it quick because I know we're going to make this a ten minute video. I'm going to talk about a little, couple of them here specifically. So uh, we'll start with the overall look. You know, here's what uh, here's what the take looked like. Um, it was pretty uh, pretty impressive take, I think. Pretty happy with it. We started off. Uh, it, at the Lincoln Pinch uh, Distillery, just outside of Louisville, we did that on the on the trip from Nashville to Louisville. Um, this is the bottle here. It is uh, from the Dueling Grounds Distillery. Uh, kind of interesting story. Talked to the the, the owner for a little while. Um, it was an area in, in Louisville that really started out as the the main dueling area of the the county. Uh, so a lot of people went there, settled their disagreements with the duels. That's kind of how it got its name with the farm where this, this all started. Um, really liked the story, really liked the bottle. You know, I love the dueling guns there right on it. <clears throat> um, so we uh, kind of walked through and, and did a quick tour. Um, it is a 100 proof, four year old uh, whiskey or bourbon. So pretty happy about it. Um, like I said, just kind of thought it was cool and that's why we went with that direction. Uh, next, we stopped by the Boundary Oak uh, distillery uh, picked up this Lincoln so Boundary Oak one of the first key um, landmarks that that, that showed uh, anything about Abe Lincoln back in the day some you know nine story tall oak tree stood 115 feet wide at the at the branch to branch tip uh, a lot of again a lot of history a lot of story about that um, I actually did a tasting where we tried this um, uh, pretty, liked it pretty much uh, it's got some kick to it it's about 121 proof um, but real smooth, traditional bourbon notes to it. Um, really enjoyed it, and again, really like the story. Not a big fan of the bottle. It's kind of plain. It's just a regular sticker on the front. You know, I buy a lot of stuff that has, like, the coolness factor. I don't think that has as much, but it was a good good bourbon. Uh, at that same place, we tried this Sinful 69. You know, I joked it's kind of like a Fireball. It is. Um, a little better than Fireball. Um, not as sweet as Fireball. Had a little more, you know, spice and fire to it than Fireball, but similar kind of a... Of a, of a drink, not a bourbon, but bought it anyway. Then lastly, um, on the first round here is the Fighting Cock. Um, look at that, look at the, the label there. About says it all. You had to buy a bottle of this, right? Um, it is a Kentucky bourbon. It is about 103 proof. Um, so nothing spectacular about it besides that, but I saw the label, I saw that big Fighting Cock coming down there and said, you know what? No man's bourbon collection is complete without that. Um, next, we're going to move on. Uh, Woodford, you know, toured that place. I uh, really enjoy Woodford. Everyday drinker, very smooth, very nice uh, bourbons. Um, I got this bottle simply because it was the commemorative bottle of the Derby. Uh, this year's Derby, they actually had some from last year. I was going to get one from last year too, but I just got the one. Again, thought the bottle was cool. Um, had the bourbon plenty of times, a lot of times. Enjoy it. It's a nice bourbon. In fact, I think I've got a bottle already open in my, in my cabinet. Next is the Le Piste de Resistance, um, the Blantons. So they actually, um, they actually had two. You can see I got two bottles there of it. You know, not a lot to tell about that. You're, you're familiar with Blantons. You're familiar with bourbons. It's, it's just the, the very sought-after bottle. Um, to get those at $63 a piece when they go for $200 on the aftermarket, it was kind of cool. They would only let you buy one a piece. Uh, so Carrie was with me, and she bought one, and I bought one. Every three months, they take your license. And they record you, and you can't go back and get another bottle for three months. So kind of pretty cool. But I bought two bottles because while they're, you know, get it. I have not seen a bottle of that around here at all. While at Buffalo Trace, <clears throat> which was the Blantons, picked up a regular bottle of Buffalo Trace. Best $29 bottle of bourbon you can buy. Um, smooth, flavorful, a lot of, lot of sweetness to it, but not like, a, not like a bad sweetness. Just kind of a very pleasant taste in your mouth. I um, really like the Buffalo Trace. Drink it a lot. Excited to see it because even around here, the regular bottles I can't find. The next one is not a bourbon. It is the Old Forester Mint Julep. We stopped by this distillery as well. Had a great time touring all the distilleries. Um, they didn't have any bottles there that I didn't already have, including the bonded barrel uh, bottle. So I went ahead and picked up something I didn't have, which was this Mint Julep. It's only 60 proof, but I'm expecting this to be fun. And again, since this was my 50th birthday trip, we didn't get a lot from Mama. So I figure... We can call that for Mama as well. Then lastly, uh, we toured the Peerless um, <clears throat> Distillery. Really spent a lot of time talking to a gentleman in there about the history of this one. 
they stayed open during prohibition, hit a lot of their barrels, sold a lot of them for, for, for medicinal purposes, which during prohibition was the only thing you could do. Um, really got a good feel from the guy about this. This is a uh, 121 proof, I'm sorry, 111 proof. Um, it is a uh, barrel proof with, uh, bourbon and it was 100% sweet mash, which was kind of interesting. The guy was like, the only, the only uh, distillery in the area that does 100% sweet mash. So that's my haul. Sorry the video is so long, but I thought you'd enjoy it. Um, great time touring the distilleries getting to know a little bit more about bourbon and just in general being down part of the, the history and this whole kind of thing caught up known as the bourbon world. So thanks a lot, everybody.